Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can handle and build customized exceptions inside your Fast API. So let's begin. So we, we are going to build some custom exceptions inside Fast API in this video. So let's start. And so first of all, I'm going to make my Fast API file right here. So I'm just going to name it something like exception.py. And let's start working. All right. So first of all, obviously, I'm going to import the Fast API here. Import. And also, I'm going to import the HTTP exception here to basically uh, refer to different kinds of HTTP exceptions inside this application. All right, so I'm going to ref uh, make a fast API reference now, and now I can start working with fast API. All right, so first of all, we're going to what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to define or basically raise uh, an exception a customized ex exception so for this this is going to be an HTTP conception but the details are going to be customized so for the this detail i'm going to uh, basically implement a division by zero kind of error so first of all i can just uh, do something like slash divide and that is going to be just the endpoint and i'm going to define the divide endpoint right here so for the endpoint i'm going to have two in two inputs here so first one is going to be a as float and b as float and we're going to divide both of them and return to our uh, response all right so now what happens is i'm going to check a condition that if b is equal to zero so what happens is now i'm going to raise a customized exception here so that's going to be raised an http exception with the status code of 400 and for the detail variable the detail is going to be customized for me so the detail is going to be division by zero is not allowed so i have built my customized exception here whenever the b value is zero this error will be popped up which says division by zero is not allowed so i have built a customized exception here and if the b is not equal to zero i can just simply return the result as a by b now i'm going to test this application so i'll just run that using unique uvicorn and let's see how this works all right so if i go to the docs here and i go to the get divide api point here all right so i'm going to use one one it should simply just return me one yes and if i choose zero here i should get an error here yes as you can see i have got the code as 400 which is an error code of bad request and the response body says the detail as division by zero is not allowed. So this is not a default exception inside Python or Fast API, but we have built an exception using our own customization. All right, so now I'm going to show you how you can actually again uh, create a whole new exception class inside the Fast API. So let's begin and start the process. All right, so for this class, what I'm going to do is just how we had raised this exception which was was a http exception and now we're going to rate, raise another exception another kind of exception which is going to be raise not found exception so this exception as the name suggests get raised when uh something is not found inside the database or something like that so this is going to be class not found exception and we're going to have the exception uh class as the parent class for this uh, written in the parameter of the not found exception so for the invite, I'm just going to init uh, it using the detail or basically I'm going to uh, init is use, using the name itself. So self.name equals to name. We're going to have just one parameter. So the name of the object which is not found is going to be present inside the not found exception class. All right, perfect. So now we can move forward. And for now, what we can do here is um, from fast API dot responses we can get a json response exactly and also we can have the request from fast api so that's going to be from fast api dot requests i'm going to import request all right so now we can move forward with app dot exception handler so that's going to handle the exception of not found exception here so how does it handle it now is is exactly what we're going to define in this function so define not found exception so handler so define not found exception handler how it's going to work is first of all it's going to have the request here which is going to be the request from the server and then it's going to be the exception here so the exception is going to be something like not found exception here of the type not found exception so how does this work is basically now i'm going to uh, just return 
a json response and how does this json response work is json response and now i can define my own status code here so the status code uh, just because it is a not found error so i can use the status code 404 but since this is your customized error you can actually use any kind of status code something like 456 614 something like that anything you can use anything here so I, i'll just use 404 for now because that's a not found exception standard and i think that maintains the uniformity and standardization so this is the benefit of your uh, customized exception classes that you can define your custom status codes and then act accordingly if somebody hits uh, on your API and get the response status code as that. And for the content of our uh, exception response, that's going to be something like a message. Message is going to be an F string that's going to have oops, something like that. Oops, this item is not found. So the item is exec dot name as we have defined it above inside the exception class. So that can be something like um, ex, yeah, exception dot name not found, and that's it. That's great. I think now let's test it out. So I'm just gonna create a, I'm gonna simulate a database using a dictionary here. So I'm gonna use apple or ten, banana or twenty, orange or thirty. Perfect. So I'm gonna simulate that at app dot get item slash item name here, and then I'm gonna define get item for the get item i can just have the item name as the parameter which we get from the url itself and we can have something like if item name not in items so now we throw the not found exception here so how we throw it is basically just raise the not found exception and in this i'm going to pass the default which is the initiator class argument that is the name of the item so that is just going to be item name all right perfect and if you find the item eventually then we can just simply return the item and its price as a json response perfect so that's how i think we can use our not found exception handler so let's test it out now and it's ready so let's go let me just go to the docs all right so now we have this endpoint also here so let's try it out so for the item name as we know that we have the apple item inside our items right now so as you can see we got the apple and the price is 10. we also have the banana so this should also return us as the banana yeah this returned us but what we do not have is um something like watermelon so if i try to search watermelon it should return us an exception as not found yes as you can see 404 error code is returned and also in the message we have our dynamic variable watermelon right here so it says message oops watermelon not found so that's how simple it is to actually uh, make your customized exception inside fast api and also make it dynamic uh, using variables inside your requests so guys that's it for the video and thanks for watching